Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. I am packing up a few things because I'm gonna go to a coffee shop. I'm gonna take Otis with me, and then we're gonna go to the park and do a little bit of journaling. I'm really trying to work on my mental health. I'm trying to do the artist's way. I've heard people say great things about the book and say how the book brought their spark back and made them feel like themselves again. So that is what we're gonna try. The book is actually sold out at my nearby bookstore. It's become really popular lately, but I, I was able to download a copy onto my iPad for now before I could get my hands on the physical copy. I feel like the physical copy is gonna be so much easier for me to work with so I can like annotate it and like flip through it. So I'm hoping to get my hands on that soon, but there's no saying when they'll restock on that book yet. up going to the gym after uh, journaling at the park today and I've just been reading here ever since. I've been trying out a new gym in my area and I ran into a viewer so hi Jachi if you see this. Honestly journaling at the park today was reviving. It brought me back to life. I didn't think it'd be as great as it was but it was extremely relaxing. I had a few epiphanies while journaling and it just made me really happy to see Otis run around. He got the zoomies multiple times. The vibes were great. I also made a new friend at the park and she is a baker and looking to start her own baking company. Super, super cool to hear about. Journaling has been super therapeutic. I'm realizing it's an essential practice to maintain my mental health. And one of the epiphanies I had today while journaling is that loving life is an active thing you have to do. It doesn't just always happen naturally. Kind of like with any long-term relationship, how much love you naturally feel will kind of ebb and flow. Part of love is choosing to love that person or choosing to love life. And actions that make me love life, I realize, are staying active, eating well, journaling, being nice to myself, making sure I'm spending time with friends, getting enough sleep, and it makes life love you back. Another great tool that I have been using lately as a way to actively love life has been going to therapy. This is a new thing I've introduced to in my life, but it has been immensely helpful to have this tool that I can go to and work through anything that has been taking up space in my mind. And especially in my 20s, there's a lot of confusing things to figure out and I'm able to bring that into therapy every week and talk through it develop tools to process these thoughts and also figure out what my next steps are. So on the note of therapy, I wanted to thank today's sponsor, BetterHelp. BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy more affordable and accessible. And this is an important mission because finding a therapist can be extremely difficult, especially when you're limited to therapists in your local area. BetterHelp is a platform that makes finding a therapist so much easier. It's online, it's remote, and by just filling out a few questions, BetterHelp can connect you with a therapist within a few days. BetterHelp understands that finding a therapist is a little bit like dating, so if you don't hit it off with your therapist right away, you can easily switch to another therapist without having to worry about things like insurance or whether the new therapist is in your network. Like I mentioned earlier, therapy can be a great tool, especially for people in their 20s. 20s is notoriously a very confusing time and I have personally found therapy be a great tool to work through these confusing times and developing the tools to help me kind of navigate my life. BetterHelp has given me a discount to share with you all. You can click the link in my description box to get 10% off your first month with BetterHelp. Again, it's BetterHelp, better H-E-L-P. Thank you BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Now we're about to head to Goodwill. I need to find some little espresso cups. In my last vlog, I was supposed to turn my apartment into a coffee shop, but I got a migraine and I couldn't do it. So we rescheduled to this weekend, aka tomorrow. So I'm gonna run to Goodwill today, see if they have some espresso cups. I also need to go to the grocery store and get all the material that is required to run the coffee shop. It's time to do a few errands. morning happy sunday i am alive and we are opening shop today is the day to turn my apartment into a coffee shop again 
I'm gonna go pick up my friend Madeline who's co-hosting with me. We're gonna come back, we're gonna start setting up and people are gonna start trickling in around 10.30 a.m. It is currently 9 a.m. We have a little bit of time, we're running a tiny bit behind schedule though, so I'm gonna have to talk to you all a little bit later. But um, before I go, this is the coffee shop host, OOTD. If you saw my last vlog, I was gonna return this top, but I did not end up returning in time, so I'm keeping it. This is my, my Dobby top. And then I'm wearing some Urban Outfitters slash Free People billowy green pants. Very comfy outfit, also lightweight because it's gonna be pretty warm in this apartment, I'm guessing summer and my building does not have AC. Hopefully it doesn't get too toasty today. It doesn't look too sunny, so I think I think we're gonna be good. Oh my god, he's really going in. <laughs> That's a wrap today. I'm literally too tired to finish the clip today, but what an amazing day it was. Thank you so, so much to everyone who came out. I had so much freaking fun. I feel like my creative juices were flowing. The circulation is good and I'm ready for the work week to start tomorrow. I think I'm realizing that it feels really, really good for me to do a ton of creative stuff on the weekends before the work week starts in order to feel rejuvenated or just that I have a high need for doing creative things to feel alive. Good thing to know about myself and definitely useful in learning what I want and how to keep myself happy. Hello everybody, good morning. It is Tuesday today. I am in the office. I am really sleepy. It's cold out today, but I got a coffee. It's been really smoky outside lately because of the fires in the North Cascades. Um, climate crisis is happening and it's scary. But regardless, I got a clock into my little computer where I do my little tippy tappies all day. Um, today's a pretty meeting heavy day, so. I will be looking at the screen a lot. But yeah, I'm proud of myself for making it to the office today. I almost didn't do it, but I feel like it's good for my mental health, good for my focus. I wish more people would come into the office so I could see people, but that's not the case. It might change soon though. We're gonna change to an open office layout in about a week or two, which is good for seeing people but not good for the vlog <laughs> because I will not be vlogging in an open office layout as opposed to my private office that I have right now. So we're gonna have to see how that goes. But I'm guessing there's gonna be like private meeting rooms. So I'm excited for that and that'll probably be where I record these little vloggy clips moving forward, at least for when I'm in the office. My office friend has lunch plans, so getting lunch by myself today. Just gonna do a quick lunch. I'm gonna go to the nearby cafeteria, probably just grab something to go. Sad, depressing lunch. I finished up work at home, and now the work day is over. I'll be back, Otis. Be a good boy. 
out to grab dinner with a friend at a nearby katsu place. It's a little cold and chilly outside, so this weather is perfect for some warm soup and katsu. I meant to get some clips of me getting dinner with my friend tonight, but I just completely forgot to vlog. I had a great time tonight. I am gonna go to bed now. I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm gonna do some reading. I'm almost done with the Aquatar series and I'm gonna be so sad to finish this series. Thank you all so much for watching. I had so much fun making this vlog. I've been meaning to talk more about this, but I have this vision. I wanna try something new with my channel. I have a few more vlogs I need to make until the end of September or October or so, but then I'm thinking about taking a little bit of a hiatus from YouTube and spending that time putting together a like season of YouTube videos. That way I have more time to really write out the video plan, write out a script, and put more effort into making art for you all. I've been meaning to do this ever since I took that filmmaking class last winter. I feel like I learned so much about what is possible to do out there and I want to give it a shot. Try something like putting together a more thought out video and putting out seasons of videos. But in the meantime, I have a couple more months of vlogging. I would definitely keep you all updated on my Instagram of what's happening. So you should definitely go follow me on Instagram if you don't already. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching this video. I love you all. And I hope you all have a great day, great night, great evening. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.